Hello and welcome to another Science Revision video. Now in this video we're going to look at plant mineral requirements. Now you probably know about photosynthesis, you know that plants can produce their own food using carbon dioxide and water and light energy. Um, but that's not all they require, they also require minerals. So for healthy growth plants need certain minerals. Now if you're a farmer or work in um, gardening, whatever, you know that you need to have fertilizers and these fertilizers add minerals to the soil. So when a farmer puts a um, fertilizer onto his soil, he is adding minerals that plants need. Now there are two sorts. First of all, the farmer may put on there natural fertilizer. And these can be dead plant animal remains and also organic waste. If you've got a compost heap in your garden, then what you're doing there, you're preparing natural fertilizer. Now, that's all well and good, but sometimes for a farmer it's not quick enough, so he may use what are called artificial or manufactured fertilizers. And these are made in factories and chemicals. They're much more expensive, but in some ways they're much more effective. So, what does a plant need? Well, a plant will need nitrogen. Now, this is taken in in the form of nitrates. And this is needed for proteins, and proteins are needed for growth of stems and leaves. Phosphorus will be taken in in the form of phosphates and phosphorus is needed for healthy root growth. Potassium is needed for healthy leaves and flowers. Calcium is needed for healthy growth of new stems and lastly magnesium is involved in making chlorophyll as part of the chlorophyll molecule. Now what the farmer or the gardener will do is they'll have a look at their plants and if they can see their plants the roots perhaps are not as strong as they should be they'd perhaps put in more phosphorus or say the leaves are um, looking as though they've got weak stems, maybe put in more calcium. So you can see by altering the elements and minerals you give the plants, you can affect their health. Now lastly, what a farmer would do, a farmer would might order a, a fertilizer. So here is a bag of fertilizer. Now if you look at one of these bags, you'll see three um, symbols, N, P, K. Now what these stand for are the elements, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. So what the farmer can do, the farmer can um, say they want a particular ratio. So in this one here, they've got 20% nitrogen, 50% phosphorus, and 30% potassium. So the farmer has looked at his, his crop, he's identified that the biggest need is for phosphorus. Okay, remember phosphorus is for healthy roots. So he may have decided that he needs more phosphorus. So the ratio is heavily weighted towards phosphorus with some potassium and a little bit of nitrogen. So farmers can dictate what they actually want in terms of plant minerals. Okay, so that's the end of the short video on um, plant mineral requirements. If you want to see more of my free science revision videos, so you go to my site www.sciencerevisionvideo.com. And thank you for watching.